Have you ever wanted to live off grid in your class A motorhome with all of the luxuries that you want? We're going to do that by converting it from this to this using the Monument Solar RV solar rack system, along with multiple other components. This has 3,200 watts of tiltable solar and 28.6 kilowatt hours of lithium iron phosphate battery, where you can use 100% of the capacity. In order to make it all work, we have to remove these old single phase 120 volt inverters. These are very outdated and very heavy. There's no easy controls for them, so they've definitely got to come out and get replaced with a better system. These old gel batteries are still live while we're removing them, but they each weigh about 150 pounds. In total, there was 23 kilowatt hours of capacity in these batteries, but only 50% of it is usable because they're gel batteries. They were wired in parallel, meaning it's all 12 volts, and it was 1,800 amp hours, which means it sounds great on paper, but in real practical use, doesn't actually last very long with a rig of this size. These were an absolute nightmare to get out of the motorhome. These had been in service for a couple of years and had already gone completely bad and were starting to swell. Luckily, we have this sliding tray that we'll be able to put our new batteries on. So we get to work right away along with the owner of Monument Solar to start putting the solar racks together. There's a lot of little parts that go together and a lot of fine tuning to make it all work. So that's why we spend most of the day just putting these parts together to get them prepped to go onto the roof in order to have all of the spacing just right. You can see these frames are starting to come together though, and this allows us to be able to put all of the solar panels on the roof. But you don't always have to do an on-site installation. Monument Solar has installers across the nation and is building their network more, so if you're interested in being an installer, be sure to reach out to them. But they can work with a variety of RVs and are able to put incredible amounts of solar on it while making it tiltable. So if you have an RV that you want to put solar on, enough solar to be able to live with it, make sure to use the link down below in order to get discounts on this system. For this setup, we were doing 3,200 watts of solar. That's eight 400 watt bifacial solar panels, which means there's the possibility of getting over 4,000 watts of solar production because the bottoms of the solar panels also have solar cells on them that can create power from the reflection of the white roof and from the ambient light around the RV. The Monument Solar setup specifically focuses on having a catwalk or a middle axis down the solar panels in case you ever need to clean them, tilt them, or use them in different ways, this makes it really easy to be able to do that. With each solar panel, it's only a matter of loosening two bolts, and then you can tilt up the solar panels at a 90 degree all the way up for winter storage, or you can keep them at varying angles if you're just trying to maximize the power production from your solar panels. Everything goes into the framing of the RV, and between each base plate and post, there is cabling and chains in order to help give extra strength to the forward and backward movement of the vehicle accelerating and braking. In total, the Monument Solar RV rack only adds a few inches to the total overall height of the RV. In order to install it, all we have to do is find out the height above the roof that the top of the air conditioners are set at. And from that, we can use these cross beams to be just above the height of the air conditioners. One of the major beauties of this is that the system is always charging even while you're traveling. This means you can charge faster than if you were using an alternator charger. And by using a simple roof gland, we're able to run all of our solar wires down through the inner walls of the RV and come out into the basement area. The storage area allows us to hide these wires cleanly and easily, and they run directly to this DC shutoff. So if they ever need to turn off the solar panel production to the Victron system, they can do that all from here. Because this is a large motorhome that uses 50 amps of power, this system has been specifically split to work in a 50 amp setup. That includes having multiple charge controllers, multiple link systems, and multiple inverters. These Quattro inverters allow them to run two air conditioners, their large refrigerator, all the lights, fans, power to everything that they ever want to run in the whole rig. And because we switched this over from a 12 volt system to a 48 volt system, the cabling got much, much thinner and is much easier to work with. All of the safety measures have been included, such as fuses and breakers. And the whole system charges up quickly and can be monitored from a simple phone app with Victron. Running the air conditioner is not a problem at all. Even right now, we're cooling off the entire RV as well as running the fridge 
while there's nothing in it. Even the central air conditioning is running, so that cool air is going everywhere. There would be more room for some more solar panels along the back side of this RV, and had the vents and roof obstructions been placed just slightly differently, we would have been able to have this be one congruent solar array. But it worked out great because we only needed to fit these eight solar panels on the roof of the RV, and so spacing them out like this makes it even easier for getting up on the roof, having an access point in the middle, and being able to clean, adjust the angle, and move these solar panels however they need to be handled. By doing the monument solar racking system, you distribute the weight along the strongest part of the roof, so that way there's no concern of the roof pushing in and causing problems in the long term. In the end, this customer is able to go on multi-week trips where they can use all of the power they want without any concerns of running out due to the large battery bank, large solar array, and powerful inverters. If you're interested in something like this, be sure to use the links down below to get any coupons, and tell me in the comments below how much solar you think you need on your rig.